Hey, what's up dudes? Davey here, back with another video for you all. First, I kind of wanted to apologize since I haven't gotten a video out there in some time. Part 2 of the Mid Max Guide has taken a lot more time than I thought since I want to get it right. And with work and shit, yeah, you get it. So, I just wanted to get this out there since it's been on my mind for a while. I'm a huge World of Warcraft classic fanboy. I played that game back in 2004, and I played it again in 2020. And one of the things playing in 2020 reminded me of is Mabby's lack of identity in terms of roles in combat. Now, that's not at all a bad thing. Mabby's combat has evolved over the years into a way to tailor your playstyle by utilizing some or all of the talents to basically overcome any obstacle the game throws at you. You want a mag shot? Do it. Evade that AoE damage with Grapple Shot? Neato. Now, close the gap with Blazing Assault Slash. Yeah, that's fun. That's actually the reason I still play Mab. But when everyone can basically do everything, then no one really is special. And I want to be special. Mainly, it's gather the dudes and DPS them to death, or hit them until they are dead, but don't get hit yourself. And I'm not here to say that's the worst thing ever, since I do have great satisfaction seeing those big numbers and the do all things mentality. I also don't doubt many of you are like me too. But the truth of the matter is, not everyone has the biggest and best things for seeing those big numbers, nor really wants to be the one hitting for those big numbers, but rather wants to be healing for big numbers or even protecting others by tanking and the satisfaction of seeing minimal damage done to you and your party. That's the aspect I loved about WoW Classic and still love about it to this day. The roles that you can fill were the roles you can fill, and no one else. Tanks tanked, DPS DPSed, and support supported. If you played WoW, you know what it's like. And with the emergence of Theta in Mabo, which introduced tank, DPS, and support roles through technique cards, we got a good taste of the potential of playing out these roles in a Mabo setting. And with the emergence of Arcana, which imbues a player with special abilities from specific skill sets, a player can now fill a role that no one else can fill, but also utilize all the skills they could prior. Specialize as a warrior, archer, mage, healer, or whatever else comes out but you still have all the tools you had before. It's having your cake and eating it too. I also like to think of a player who maybe doesn't have as much gear as others in the party, but maybe has a decent healing set or tank set and is able to fill in those roles. That alone can diversify the amount of players to run content with. It's already very doable in Theta. Think of it this way. Maybe your friend likes to play, but isn't as far along as you are. Strap them with some good healing gear, or maybe get them a sword and board with some plate armor and try to see if they can tank. Of course, that's not to say that a tank or support role is easier than DPS. On the contrary, I think those roles would be more difficult. But with the progression of damage doing gear and weapons being somewhat arduous to get, seeing support and tank roles being more skill focused rather than gear focused would be a welcoming change. My main point or thesis is Mabo, I think, may have set itself up to be one of the most engaging and creative combat systems if they are able to execute future content utilizing Theta tech cards and Arcana. I propose future content utilize these Theta tech cards or some form of it, with some tweaking of course. Maybe have Tenacious Taunt expire every so often, so you need to reapply it, just to keep things a little spicy. Or let the tanks use the shield technique, but have it be useful and not shitty. Maybe healers can be the only player able to resurrect, but at the cost of a lot of resources, or maybe Paul Ruination cooldown is halved, so they can cast it more often. Sky's the limit, you know? Especially since Nexon announced the Unreal Engine is replacing the Pleon Engine, which is Mabby's current engine. Of course, that's a long ways out, but devs will be able to do so much more with the modern engine, and young whippersnappers who know what they are doing with Unreal will be able to be far more creative and productive. Anyways, let me know what you think. 
Do you think having a dungeon where you fill in more specialized roles would be good? Or do you think this should go a different direction? I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.